Hi everyone, this is Joel and today what we're doing is we're tracing an image or a piece of artwork on an iPad. And to this we're using the app Adobe Draw. Okay, so from here I'm going into my Adobe folder launching Adobe Draw and starts off here looking at some community drawings. I'm just going to press the plus button here to start a new project. And you can see I've got some brushes here on the left and I've got my layers on the right here. What I want to do is press the plus button on the right to introduce a new layer. I want an image layer and I've already got a picture ready to go on my iPad. So I'm going to choose on my iPad and on my camera roll I have this dragon here. And from here I can choose how big to keep it. I'm going to keep it at that size using my pinching fingers and press done. Now the next step is I need to bring the opacity right down. I'm going to tap on the image layer button again and bring the image layer down for me anyway around about 10% or 13%. Looks pretty good. Then crucially what I need to do is make sure that I'm now on the draw layer ready to draw. Now I've got all these different brushes here. I'm going to choose the, the calligraphy brush here and just by tapping that brush again I can change the options. I'm going to bring the size down by tapping it and just bringing it down a little bit and changing the colour by using my slider down to black. And now I'm ready to go. Now I'm actually going to use my pinching fingers again just to zoom into a particular part of it and I'm just going to go over the artwork like this and I'm only going to do this very roughly because you'll get the idea like this. I don't, you know, and I would say to my students, you don't have to exactly follow how the drawing is. Um, if you want to take a bit of artistic license, go ahead. Now, I'm not really happy with that. That was a bit wonky, that last line. So I can go back to my brushes and just, um, just erase that. But also what I can do is use the undo button here on the left, this, uh, sorry, on the right, this little curved arrow. So tapping that will bring, that, obviously, that step back. I'll tap it one more time, and there we go. So let's go back to the brush, and I might just actually bring the brush just a little bit smaller. I think it's a bit too big. Okay, now I'm ready to keep on going. And again, doing this very roughly, just to give you the idea I'm not a very good drawer by any means, which is why tracing is the way of way of choice when I'm teaching drawing. But anyway, that gives you a rough idea. I'm using a stylus here, but you can use your finger. Um, but using a stylus obviously gives you a greater amount of control. Okay, I think that'll do. Now, if I tap on the image layer again, I'm just going to remove the image layer from the visibility by just by tapping this I button here and just turn that off. And now I can see the picture in all its glory. So to save that, I'm just going to go to this little um, square save button here with the arrow at the top. And I've got all these different options, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on share and I'm going to click on save image. And that will save it to the camera roll. And so that's how you trace an artwork or an image from an iPad using the app Adobe Draw. I hope you can see that this might be very useful in your art class, so have at it and good luck. Thank you.